Hi everyone, this is Jean. So I'm going to show you how you can print and cut the new LD superhero centerpiece instead of cutting it out and doing the traditional paper piecing. Now also, in order to keep this video short, I'm going to ask that you go to my blog under cherrytree.com to find more information and details about what I'm doing in this video. Now to start, I am using the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, which is an upgrade that you have to buy um, in order to read SVG files. The free studio program that comes with your Cameo cannot import or open SVGs. Now, um, if you're ready, let's start by importing that SVG. This will be file number six. I'm just going to position it outside of the mat so that um, it is easier to see without all that white background. Now, without moving it further, I am going to right click, make a copy of it and place the copy on a new mat. Instead of using paste, I am going to use paste in front because that would ensure that both image on both mats are in the exact same position. Now on the second mat, I am going to right click. I'm going to ungroup this SVG twice. Okay, and then I'm gonna set it aside and go back to the first mat. Now I'm not gonna move this image at all, but I will ungroup and I'm going to release compound path and I'm going to and group it one more time. Now again, please go to my blog to find the explanation of what I'm doing here. Now basically, I'm just trying to have the cameo cut out the edge of the piece without cutting the internal part. The first step to doing that would be to change the color to white. Now you can see all the parts that we have um, removed or released. Let's zoom in to have a closer look. Now I do not want my machine to cut out all these little windows, but I do want it to, to cut this rectangle as well as this little triangle piece. So I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to select this piece and the base piece and I'm going to right click and make compound path. So this piece is done. Let's move on to the second piece. I'm just going to change the color to white. Holding down my shift key, I am going to select this rectangle. Now, sometimes it takes more than one try. So I'm holding down my shift key again, selecting this rectangle this triangle and the base layer and I'm going to right click make compound path and the next piece there is no superhero over here but I do want that little rectangle that separate the two buildings so let's just change the color of the base layer to white Holding down my shift key, I am going to try to select this little rectangle. There we go. Make compound path. And the last piece is over here. Once again, I'm going to change the color. Holding down my shift key, select the little rectangle. Right click and make compound path. So I am going to zoom out so we can look at all four pieces. Now at, at this point, I could actually turn on or set the cut lines. I am holding down my shift key so that I can select all these four pieces without selecting all the little rectangles in the back. And I'm going to set these four big pieces to cut. Now with that done, I'm going to right click and cut, as in remove the four pieces away from this first mat. And I'm going to place it over my second mat. 
by selecting paste in front. And again, I'm just going to send the whole thing to the back. Now, I do not need the first mat anymore. So I'm just going to delete the whole page away. And now would be a good time to actually save the second mat. I have actually already previously saved one, so I'm not going to do it again. And at this point, you could actually go ahead and print and cut. I usually print and cut on a letter size page. So that is what I would do. Now, I would also suggest that I would also recommend that you group all parts together by doing a Ctrl G or a right click group. So let's just group all this in their own group. Now, if you look closely, there is actually score lines. Now, the thing is that I prefer to do my own scoring with my scoring board rather than to have my cameo cut out all the score lines. So I did not set these lines to cut, and um, but I am still leaving it there. And um, I still use this as a guide for when I am scoring. I want to make sure that when I am grouping each of these parts together, that I am including those score lines. I'm just going to group and one more. Just group that part. All right, so now I have each of these pieces um, grouped together. And at this point, I could print and cut. You could increase the size of each quarter to a, about 150% of its original size to maximize your page. But please remember that when you want to increase the size of one, you really need to increase the size of all. So what I would do is to do a Ctrl A and increase the size of all the layers at the same time. So in this case, I'm going to increase it to 150% of its original size. So now I don't have to worry that they are all missized when I print and cut later. Okay, so at this point, you could just send it to print and then send it to cut. And then when this is done, when this page is print and cut, just continue on with the other pieces. Now, if you have never print and cut with your Silhouette Studio program before, please go to my blog and refer to my print and cut tutorial. And so once you have finished printing and cutting all these pieces, just glue them together to form your centerpiece. All right. So to see a picture of the completed centerpiece that I have made, please go to my blog under cherrytree.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.